You must be from the Portuguese delegation. We had heard that your ship was destroyed in a tempest. Please, no questions right now. I came a long way. I do apologize. Please forgive my rashness. Anyway, you are the last emissary to assure the Doge of their country's loyalty. I assume he's rewarded you sufficiently for your support. Either way, I'm afraid the security here has been increased recently, what with all the disturbances in the city. To allow you to gain access to the important parts of the palace, we first need to be sure of your integrity. I am the steward of the Doge's palace. Nothing happens in this building without my knowledge. When you are ready to prove your integrity, simply return here to me, and we shall begin the process. How do I prove my integrity? Before we allow you access to the palace proper, we need to be sure that there's no entry about you in the city registry. As long as you've never been in trouble with the law, I'm sure you'll pass this check fine. Please go to the City Council Hall, which is at the northern end of the corridor, and request a corresponding legal note. Then you should go and see Lucio, who is head of the palace guard. If he doesn't lock you up immediately, then I shall be content. <laughs> Can you tell me about the palace? The lower levels are used by the personnel, the guard, and of course, our esteemed city council. The upper levels, on the other hand, are reserved for the nobles. This is also where you'll find our impressive throne room. Of course, the nobles have the magnificent gardens at their disposal too. Many an hour can be spent out there in the springtime, sipping wine, or simply sitting back and enjoying the view. Then last, and most certainly least, we have that expansive palace dungeon. But you don't want to know about that. I'll come back later. How can I help you? I want to travel. Where do you want to go?
welcome to my store of occult items. I have some pale hearts for you. How many pale hearts do you have for me? I have one pale heart for you. Excellent. Now let's see what I can do with these. How can I help you? I want to travel. Where do you want to go? Yes? I want to use the platform. A complicated decision. Too tough for today. Oh, a citizen. We don't have time to talk to citizens. Correct. Too much paperwork to go through. New laws, old laws. What are you doing here? So, who's supporting Section 27, Subsection 3? Three against, three in favour. Ah, a tie. And when there's a tie... I demand a response. Concerning that problem with the rats. Oh, as old as Venice itself. Right. File it away. Are you not elected by the people to work for the people? Listen, my young idealist. This is a wonderful city with wonderful opportunities for everyone to take. There is no need to complain. And if you do need to complain, then please file an application and we shall deal with it in due course. Now, would you kindly leave us in peace, as we have important cases to process for people like you. <laughs> yes, for all the people. Oh, a citizen. We don't have time to talk to citizens. Correct. Too much paperwork to go through. New laws, old laws. I need a legal note. So, 
Who's supporting section 27, subsection 3? Three against, three in favor. Ah, a tie. And when there's a tie... I need a legal note for the steward. Ah, the steward. Family matters again. I can't be bothered. Just help yourself to the permit from the stack down there. Concerning that problem with the rats. Oh, as old as Venice itself. Right. File it away. Goodbye. Well, I am a guard now. I'm only waiting for Lucio to finish my uniform. But don't worry, I'm on your side. I came here to help. I'll spread word amongst the guards. Tell them how you helped me. That way you should never be hassled again. If you need me, you know where I am. What do you want? I'm sorry. I'm just very busy. Someone blew up a delivery of gunpowder that was intended for the Doge. But maybe it was better this way. I am Lucio. I'm head of the Palace Guards and controller of Palace Arms. I don't seem to remember your face, which is a good thing, as most people I know end up either dead or locked in the Palace Dungeon. So I wish you a pleasant stay in this ramshackle structure that once was the pride of Venice. How can I help you? I have the note. Oh, jolly good. Thank you. You should go and see Lucio, now that you've got that out of the way. I've been to see Lucio. And you're still walking freely. That is a good sign. Good luck. Feel free to make yourself at home in the great palace of the Doge. But first, we need to discuss some more pressing matters. We've just received word that allies of the Doge have been attacked. An African tribe, who are bound to the Doge's word just as you are, were attacked at the harbor. We know that the net of the mask was involved, and no one can strike at the Doge and get away with it. We must quash this uprising now. The guilds must pay for their actions. Our problem is these old guilds operate beneath the reach of law. Their numbers may be few, but loyalty within is strong, which is why we came up with this plan. We need someone to earn their trust, so we can strike from the inside. Now, I couldn't help but notice, but you are wearing that guild's badge. Of course, I would never suspect you of such treachery, but as you have ties to the guild in question, perhaps you could help. We need you to get inside the guild and let the guards in. Of course, if you can do this for me, I will have no doubt of your integrity. But be careful. Were you to give them an inkling that you are working for us, I dare not think of the consequences. What scum? How could they betray our doge? They deserve everything that's coming to them. 
Now that's what I wanted to hear. When you're ready to lead our guards to these traitors, go and find Lucio. The steward told me that you can lead us to that treacherous guild. Tell me when you're ready, and I will send my men with you. I'm ready to pay the net a visit. Good. Let's go and burn that wretched house down. Here we are. Now let's burn the traitors. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Let me go in first and assess the situation. Good idea. We'll wait here. But hurry up. We've got burning to do. I hope you'll excuse our roughness. But a traitor coming with torches, and the doge's henchman deserves no better. You were the one I trusted most after all that you did for the net. But you are a traitor, and now you must meet your punishment. First we shall cut out your tongue, then we'll pluck off your fingernails and throw them into boiling oil. Your eyeballs shall be gnawed away by rats, and your nose, well, I'll think of something for your nose later. I'm no traitor, believe me. Speak quickly. Ha! But of course you'd say that. Why should I believe you? I need to do this to destroy the undead Archon. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a long story, but you need to trust me. I've heard a lot about you lately. From people I have faith in, I'm beginning to believe that some of it might be true. What's going on here? Here they come. Henchman in shiny mail, slow as ever. You have rebelled against His Excellency the Doge. You will now be punished. Punished? You should be punished. You should be quartered. And then your arms and legs should be boiled in hot oil for hours. What's the point in boiling the arms and legs after the quartering? Oh, whatever. You know what I mean. Leave them to me. You turncoat. Very well. I know I may be thinking with my heart and not my head, but I have to trust my instincts. We will give you the help that you need. To prevent you being followed, we'll destroy all evidence you were here by raising this place to the ground. Take this key and go. They'll find no trace of you here. Good luck. No, 
Not the dungeon. We demand a fair trial. Shut up, traitors. The city council will know how best to deal with you. I knew you could be trusted. I told them. Here is the key. It's been a pleasure working with you. You are like family to me now. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate. you. I'm so glad that you found us. Someone must have betrayed us. The guards came and they dragged us down here. You've got to help us. Find the key and open the door. It's a really nasty place down here. to leave. Visiting hours are over. Wait. Are you the former jailer of this dungeon? What do you mean, former jailer? Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, yes, then, would be the answer to your question. I need the keys to the prison cells. You want the keys? Well, I've got them right here. But if I do this for you, maybe you could do something for me. You have no idea what it's like being a spirit, do you? It gets so lonely down here, and all you do is laugh about it. Do you remember that joke? Why didn't the ghost go to the ball? Because he had no body to go with. <laughs> oh, it's so true. When I was alive, I had a girlfriend. She was so beautiful. If I could just see her one more time, I'd be happy to give you the key. Oh, we were so deeply in love. But then one day, I dare not to think on it. Oh, if you could bring her or part of her back to me. Oh, it would raise my spirits.
I still can't believe you made it this far. You have earned my trust. How can I help you? I need to meet Victor. Your powers have grown, but there are still mysteries that need to be solved. You'll need allies, many more, before you can get into the cursed throne room. The key to destroying the palace lies with the city council itself. But again, you'll need others to stand by your side. Listen, take care that nobody sees you. Then enter my room. I have something that might set the ball rolling. Something that I found in the gardens. Have a look inside that chest. A conspiracy! Just as Victor said! Consider yourself under arrest. Scarlet! You! How could you do this? Leon? You work for Victor? Of course, sister! Don't you understand anything? He's the only one who can really change things. He's the only one with any power. When my guild failed me at the harbour, I knew that they couldn't be trusted. This city, this world is rotten to the bones. We need a new beginning. We need to start again on a blank slate and create everything anew. But this time with rules, with good rules, with masters, workers, slaves, everyone where they should be. A utopia by design. Leon. These are not your words. They are all my words. Can't you see? Finally, I can be someone. Use my powers to help Victor do something. Something incredible. Changing the face of the world. Enough! You are the one who doesn't see, who does not understand anything. Victor's plans are tailored for him and him alone. There will be no better world. There will only be Victor and everyone. Friend and foe alike is doomed. You don't know what you're talking about, woman. Victor told me about you and your tricks. I know more than you can imagine. Once, I too wanted to change this world for the better. I too thought my friends to be weak, and in fear they might die if I did not switch sides, I betrayed them to save their lives. I lured them all to Victor, who killed them all without a second thought. He... he wouldn't. From that day on, I decided to be his slave, to punish myself. Do you see? There is no new world waiting for you. Only death, death for your half-sister. Is that what you want? You are traitors. Traitors must be punished. Death and destruction. Did Victor tell you about them? What position did he promise you in his new order? Stop talking! Scarlet has shown me that surrendering to the wrong side is never the solution. There is always a chance to make the right choice. No! I... I made my choice once, 
But today I will make another. For Scarlet and for your pitiful soul, I will put an end to this. Challenge me if you dare. Scarlet, my love. Benedict, why do you sound so sad? I... I'm so proud of everything you've achieved. Benedict, what's wrong? Just remember, I was always with you. Is this goodbye? You need to take the final steps on your own. No, please, don't leave me. I need you here, please don't go. I have no choice. You're right. You always were. Nor will I forget you. I love you. Before I go, I have one more thing to give you. I will make it all good again. Remember, it's not goodbye, just farewell. This is all so unfair. There are things we cannot change, and there are things we can. You are strong without me now, and you must do this on your own. You can do this, I believe in you. I know. Thank you.
No, 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 you have to leave. Visiting hours are over. I found what was left of your girlfriend. Oh, thank you. Here, take the keys. What? You? Of all the ghosts I could possibly encounter? Honey. What do you mean, honey? You murdered me. You couldn't bear that I wanted to leave you. But we're together again now, and that's all that matters, right? Honey? This is my worst nightmare. And now, I'm going to make it yours. What, what, what do you mean? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And now you'll be spending eternity with one. Oh... You found the keys. You are a saint. This is our last chance. You need to find a way to get rid of the Rotten City Council. We'll hide down here until we hear your signal. You can talk to me. That is a surprise. No one else has even bothered to try. But while I've got your ear, perhaps you wouldn't mind telling me why I've been stuck down here in the dark for all these years. And you are? What I am now, I cannot tell you. But I was once an honored member of the city's High Council. My city. Oh, how I loved it. How we all adored it. We helped to build a proud city that stood strong and free. Its towers sparkling in the first light of day and glistening in the last. Mighty ships embarked on great voyages, spreading our culture to the whole wide world. And we, the city council, elected by the people, kept it strong. There were even songs we used to sing, praising the city and ourselves. Venice has become a mess, and the council is corrupt to the bone. What? No, I don't believe you. The people would never endorse a wrongful council. It is the heart of the city, earnest and fair-minded. The freedom you're talking of is gone. No, I cannot believe what you're telling me. It's against everything that Venice ever stood for. I need proof. Back when I was more solid, there was a room close to the council hall. There, hidden in a bookshelf, there was a tiny hole where you could eavesdrop on the council when they thought they were alone. Go there and listen, and tell me what you hear. If you bring me proof that this council hurts the city, oh, my anger will know no bounds. Gentlemen, to continue with our business, we have received another request from the Doge. <clears throat> Apparently we are to kill all prisoners in the palace prisons. 
without a trial or even... This is what the doge requests. They are to be executed in a few days. The note just says we need the space. Well, we do have our agreement with him. Right. We will not interfere. As long as he continues to pay us well. And think of our beautiful vineyard. And the wine. So I guess it's the same as every time? Three in favor, three against. And the doge may decide for himself. Is there some more wine? Of course, my friend. What's the news? I found out more about the Council. Tell me! The Council has no authority anymore. What? No authority? What do you mean? They always vote three to three, then let the Doge decide. Yes. If there is a tie, the Doge may decide. That's the old rule. Oh, so this is their game, is it? Twisting the ancient rules for their own rotten purpose. If I could get my dead fingers around their necks, I would strangle them one by one. Oh, my wrath is unparalleled. I can change this, but I'll need your help. Help? How could an angry old spirit be of any help? My time in your world has long been over. I am but a mere shadow whistling around these walls. No more can I step in front of them, accusing them of their sins. No more can I scream at them to show them how it was in the days of glory. I can do this no more, for I am trapped in the world of shadows, in the darkest place of what was once a shining beacon of the free world. Actually, there is a way. I have the power to summon you into the world of the living. You do? Well then, so be it. Once again, I will go to the Hall of the Council. Summon me as soon as you can. A complicated decision. My soul burns. Summon me. Now. I'll summon you now. that? You false vermin. You 
bloodsuckers. Puppets of a greedy, undead master. Oh no, it's the devil. He's gonna take us all with him. We'll need to pay for our sins. What did you think you were doing? How could you let this happen? How could you let the integrity of this council mean nothing more than the dirt that's lining the streets we were once so proud of? He's one of the elders. We have been elected to this post. We have every right to be here. Elected? Money elected you. Money and greed. Instead of thinking you are poisoning this city with your unfaltering obedience. Governance means responsibility. And you have the most responsibility in the entire world. You should be humble and wise. Instead, you are corrupt, absorbed by your illusions of grandeur. Who do you think you are that you dare to abuse the most honorable position in this city? Where is your respect for the people? In the old days, we had respect and dignity. We knew why we were elected. The Doge was a servant to the people and not their undertaker. In the old days, we sang songs for the Doge. Songs to show our pride for what we had achieved together. Songs that gave the old Venice its power and made it shine like a pearl. Songs about our seamen, who were brave and fearless. And about their ships. You know the songs. Sing them with me. Send my ships to the islands far away. Come on, sing with me. Bringing silk, Bringing and, silk gold and gold and silver, and to, silver the to the bay. I'm not afraid I'm of death not afraid or, of death demons, or on demons on the way. On the way. Row, 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 and row you will on the galleys of justice. You can have us. We surrender. Just tell us what you want and we'll do it. It is too late to pay for your sins. The city is in ruins, and the devil himself dwells in this house. But it is not me who shall take the final decision. The one who called me will know what's wisest in your darkest hour. I have finished my duties. I will go to sleep now. For a long time. Perhaps forever. What are we to do now? Scarlet, you did it at last. It is time to end this mess. The rebels shall be taken prisoner again and will receive their just punishment. No, this city needs a new government and we will do what we must to get it. No matter what the blood toll. No, there is only one way to restore the order. My guards must remove this chaos until peace is restored throughout the land. When all is settled, we will hand the power back to the people. A military government? That would be even worse. We need a new beginning. A government working with emergency laws. This is what must be done. But we can make up for the mistakes we've made. We will get better and listen to the people. Only to the people. Ah, as you make an interesting proposition, I will leave the decision to you. The guards will adhere to it no matter what. For the loyalty of the Guard is always to the Council, whomever that Council may be. We need a new beginning. The power shall go to the Rebels. Yes. Finally, the public has its voice. Throw the Council into the dungeon. Please have mercy. Spared us our lives. We were blinded. The Guard humbly yields to the decision, and we will support your Regency. Now only one problem remains. That of the devil in the throne room. We will try to break in. However, this is not going to be easy. The Doge and his ally each have their own guardians. Scarlet, as soon as you give the signal, we will take back the palace. There is no turning back. This nonsense ends now. I'm ready. Sound the charge. It's begun. Everyone defend Venice against the hordes of evil.
This is it. If you pass this door, there will be no way back. Remember all that you've learned. And remember that your magic dress will shield you from Victor's attacks. Well, hopefully. Still, it is up to you to choose the weapons and armor you deem appropriate for this encounter. Good luck, Scarlet. More lives than your own depend on this moment. We'll leave you here. You must take the final steps on your own. You're finally here. What a pity. You're just too late. Look, my doge is constructing the final sentence of the Black Grimoire. Oh, I've waited so long for this day. First, I get to kill you. And then, I read the final spell. And the old order will cease to exist. Why did you do all this? It was mine. They promised I'd be the next death. But then you broke the rules. You knew what you were doing. And how is that fair? This council, what do they know? I learned powers that would have made me the strongest death of all time. Fascinating, beautiful, and unmatched. Yet, somehow, the council couldn't take it. Perhaps they didn't want me to be more powerful than they, so they dropped me. It was my right. It was my destiny! Your destiny is to die by my blade. No, you've got nothing to do with destiny. Your birth was forbidden by their rules, just as my studies were. And still, they allowed you to be used as a tool. And that's all that you are. A tool in their hands, with no free will. Maybe that's what you think. But I can think for myself. You took Benedict's life, and now I'll take yours! Revenge? Tell me, how would you describe revenge? I can read your soul. You have no more secrets. You never betrayed your friends. You chose doing the right thing over wealth and fame. So no, you didn't come here for revenge. You came because you thought you were doing the right thing. Restoring the balance. Ha! Yet, only at the end do you remember what you were fighting for. But none of this matters now! I will claim what is mine! It'll take more than an old man to stand in my way. Don't worry, I won't be alone. The city of Venice will stand at my side. I will take their lives, and they will join with me, fighting the good fight. What? And when they look into my eyes and say, Oh, Victor, why are you taking my life? I will answer them long and true. You're dying because of Scarlet. They die because of you. No. Watch! No. No. What did you do? It's too late now. As of today, Venice is nothing more than a tomb. A ghost town. All because of you! It is time to end history! Now we fight! And I am the one to finish it. Die!
Release them. Release the souls. Father! Father! Why aren't you helping? What are you talking about? Help me, Father! Release them! No! I want to stay alive! I don't want to die! I will end this here and now. I will end this with my blade. As you wish, my daughter. What'll happen now? That's up to the people. It's always up to the people. The things that happen are due to the decisions they make. That is, as long as they don't try to cross the borders. I crossed the borders. I made you cross them. And what will become of me now? That again, is entirely up to you. You have already chosen a path. I'm sure you will go on to follow it. But for a long time, or so I hope, you will travel this path without me. Farewell, my daughter. See you in another life. Farewell, father. <laughs>